Happy New Year's, Fairy Fam. And thank you so much for all your love and support for this past year. 2020 has been hell. And let me tell you, I am going into 2021 with no clue of what to expect or what to do right about now. I do have some goals set. Um, I started doing therapy and daily journaling and um, my devotionals and I've started a self-care group with over a dozen other people in there. Um, I started a 2021 um, challenge which was already posted on one channel. Um, so thank you so much for that Michelle on uh, Life Adventures with Keto. And basically the challenge is um, to not just work on your weight. Um, it is technically a, a keto-esque kind of challenge. I'm, I'm bouncing off of a keto challenge. I do want to focus on cleaning up diets, cleaning up um, portion sizing, whatever you're struggling with past the holiday season, the holiday extra weight, um, just getting back on track and everything like that for the next 30 days all through January. And on top of that, I want to add to the challenge working on some sort of self-care, um, focusing on how you feel versus looking at the number on a scale. Um, I want to kind of evolve my weight loss and my weight goals and my health goals more into all of last year. I was looking at a number. I was measuring, I was portioning, sizing and things, and I was just very, very like stressed out over it. And on top of that, I had all these other stresses that I was dealing with. I lost my pop pop. I lost an aunt. I lost a gaming buddy of over like 15 years or so that I knew him. My friend lost his wife um, and he ended up moving out of state just to, to get away you know um and i moved out to the country i dealt with the process of moving um the lack of internet the lack of people around me um anymore i mean i'm glad to be out of the duplex i was in that was horrible y'all saw it but you know i i feel more isolated i'm dealing with my dad being sick um the drama his wife is bringing um, I'm seeing some shady stuff on online being posted by both of them. Uh, they are being cut out of the family. Uh, there's a lot of people cutting them out right now, um, because of how they're acting. And that's not on me anymore. I'm, I'm done extending that energy. Um, even my therapist said, why, why are you investing yourself in people that don't invest in you? And I am carrying that forward into 2021 with all my resolutions and stuff like that. I'm going to start doing um, what I used to do in 2015 was like daily gratitudes at the end of the day. Like what I'm grateful for or something that was positive during the day. And I would make a post on it and stuff like that. I'm going to do something similar to that because... 2015 was it helped a lot I, I think just to kind of get out of the negativity and, and to de-stress and to just focus on what's important um, and what makes you happy and to 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 do all of that to declutter basically um, and to show appreciation and, and gratitude and everything like that so I'm gonna do that again this year and I'm gonna start off tomorrow um, you know, posting my first, I don't know if I'm going to do specifically gratitudes or what, but it's, it's going to be part of my journaling process, my therapeutic process. Um, as far as anything else to do with the New Year's, I don't know yet. I have a dozen videos that I recorded end of November all through December that I have not posted. Um, I've got Christmas videos, I've got weight loss videos, I've got haul videos, I mean, you name it, I've, I, I've been recording, I just haven't been posting, 
because I really I've been focusing on a lot um, and this video just is like a good brush over of all of it um, but doesn't include all of it um, I'm still reeling from you know the middle of the year when I took in two homeless teenagers and basically got treated like dirt in response of me trying to help uh, but what has come from that though since it was associated with um, my ex's side of the family well not his family specifically married in family on that side um, my ex and I communicate better now I mean I don't know if it has to do specifically with me extending myself to the extent of trying to help somebody on their side or something like that I don't know I don't know if it's just stuff he's going through or whatever but you know it's made a lot of stuff at the end of the year a lot easier to deal with when I don't have to be combative with him on top of everything um, so I'm going into 2021 with no debt unfortunately my credit scores are not reflecting that um, I cannot get two of the credit bureaus to update correctly which is the two important ones unfortunately the TransUnion and the other one my FICO score however is has gone up to like the 660s that's pretty good but my others are not reflecting that whatsoever so I'm I'm not gonna deal with that I'm gonna try and get the other two um, to reflect the correct number uh, next year but we'll see how many letters I have to write and how many phone calls I gotta make <laughs> um, other than that we're going into 2021 in a new vehicle um, we are in our our house out in the country now we are I mean there's gonna be a lot of new things going on um, and there's gonna be a lot of old things gotten rid of um, unfortunately this is gonna include relationships um, family members friends just whoever is toxic and, and, and not deserving of our attention is just gonna be ignored from now on and I mean there's there's no hard feelings we just don't want anything to do with you anymore <laughs> um, for our own sake um, and probably for yours too so um, we're going into the new year with uh, our, our church we joined a church uh, in August and we're really getting to know everybody now I'm still learning names I've, I've got a couple of them down so far but I'm still learning them. I joined the prayer circle. Uh, so we email each other over, you know, who's sick, who's in the hospital, you know, what you can do to help out, that kind of stuff. So that that really is a good, I guess, foot in the door as far as how I can help the community around here, how I can get to know people around here, despite that most of them are probably older than me by a good 20 years or so, but I still want to get to know them. Um, I still want to help. Uh, other than that, I mean, we got animals. We have new animals. The cats, the dog. Um, I'm going to, I don't know, figure it all out as we go, basically. Um, my next immediate goal is my kid's birthday. He's turning 17. We're doing Dr. Pepper theme. Dr. I'm doing a Dr. Pepper soda cake. That's gonna be weird. I'm gonna try and make it an anti-gravity cake. You know where the soda can is like floating and it looks like it's pouring out, but it's like chocolate instead or something like that. Wish me luck. I've never done it before. <laughs> um, the lady that did my birthday cake, I messaged her, but I don't know if she's, I don't know. I don't know if she'll be able to do it or help me at least. I think I'm on my own. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm looking forward to 2021 and this 
30-day challenge to get us kick-started. There is a Facebook group about the 30-day challenge. Um, you have to get along with everybody in, on Facebook and in the group kind of thing in order to be allowed on. You have to take the challenge seriously. Um, we're not there for any other reason other than to keep each other updated on how we're doing, keep each other motivated, support each other. Um, a few of us are going to do videos, uh, so look forward to probably, if not daily, at least uh, every few days kind of videos. I still don't have internet. I'm on a waiting list. I have the correct router and antenna and everything like that, but now I'm on a waiting list. It's so stupid trying to get internet out in the country. It really is. It's, it's pointless. Um, and nobody seems to care to fix the problem. I'm still waiting on a lot of Christmas gifts to come in. Uh, I got my brother a sweater. Um, I have pots and pans, like a really good set that's in the mail coming here. Um, Michael swears that he got me something and that's been in the mail for three weeks now. <laughs> um, so we're still waiting on the rest of the Christmas stuff to come in. Uh, I will be posting my Christmas videos soon because I do have like the kids unwrapping their gifts and stuff like that and I think that's fun to share. So I wanted to kind of share that with you guys and I don't know what else. Um, so but yeah, this 30 day challenge, you know, new year, new me, um, hoorah. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you're interested, uh, shoot me a message, um, Instagram, wherever, and I can add you to the group or, you know, see if the group is okay with adding you. Um, if you have any conflict with anybody in there, I'd rather avoid all that. Uh, what else, what else, what else? I don't know. Uh, I do, at the end of this, well, towards, well, yeah, I'll wait till the end. At the end of this 30-day challenge, I have a surprise. Um, I have a secret to reveal, and I'm not going to tell you what it is. You're just going to have to wait. So, um, yeah. There's that. But we're going to focus on this challenge. We're going to focus on the new year. We're going to focus on bettering ourselves and we're going to focus on supporting each other and moving forward and putting 2020 very much so in our hindsight because hindsight is 2020 <laughs> i know cheesy shut up whatever <laughs> anyway i'll catch you guys in the new year <laughs>